We're fucking back, and we're in the gym. What do you hey. want? I want to know more about theory. About here. Like what? Hmm. So when I saw him in the ring, I noticed that he looked like he'd been through some pretty intense, or in, yeah, intense stuff. Especially for a high schooler. What kind of trait? What kind of life did he go through to wind up like that? Ooh. Why are you asking? Nope. I'm just curious. What's well, so your business? Always asking this and that. You run some kind of hey, club. Fuck off. I guess I need to gain his trust. Even if it's just to get him talking. Hey. Why oh, only you lay when smart gets him? He seems like he really wants to practice. You, you should know if, if you already squared up with him. Once the switch flips in that kid, he can't hold back. Come to think of it, his attitude definitely changed once I land that solid hit on him. Hmm. It was just a start. If we hadn't stepped in, you'd be dead man right now. Huh? That bad. Normal people instinctively pull their punches when they they know they shouldn't overdo it. But he loses loses that when the switch flips. He becomes a rage power killing machine. <sighs> he won't stop until his opponent's dead. Hmm. Damn, how'd he end up like that? Who knows, but if I'm being honest, he's ruined one boxer's life already. Yeah. And one guy coming around here seemed like a solid up and comer. Kiru Mikimoto, he was a pro after clinching the high school triple crown. He was unbeatable. After his debut, he climbed the ranks, took a bunch out a bunch of top-level contenders. I was thinking we had a future international champ on our hands, but then we would have gotten nod, got the nod of the Japanese lightweight title match and had to start training. He was asking around about a sparring partner when he came up and introduced himself. In the first round, he held his own against the high-ranked opponent, but when Igamo got him with a counter. When the second round started, that switch had already flipped. He saw through all of his movements. All of a sudden, he started the counterattack. I couldn't believe my eyes. A cl this Class A boxer was getting completely smeared by a teenage amateur. Every single technique Mario was developed was useless in the face of him in kill mode. Then it came to the third round. The gong rang, and the mighty Miyamoto refused to leave his corner. They had... that have been... That had to have been when it hit him. There was really, a, there really is are monsters in this world. Things that even a genius in a ring like him could never ever beat. That's when I stopped letting him spar. I thought the risk of happening again was just too high. Pretty monstrous. Hey. What happened to that guy afterwards? <sighs> Nothing good. It basically broke him. Ever since then, he barely drops by here just to show, even show his face. From what I wear he, here, he's a real jackass now. Hang around and making trouble with local punks. Pretend he's got a real job. Um. No matter how much of a prodigy he is, can an amateur like him really take a high-ranking boxer like that? Yeah. That in itself isn't too uncommon, actually. No matter how strong they are, boxers can lose the lo to re lower-ranking opponents if the conditions are right. That said, Kenyon's case is an extreme one. His fighting style totally overwhelms his opponents. He'll keep laying on the hurt till they're in pieces. No matter how much training or technique they've got, he ruins it all along with their pride. Do any amateur boxing? It would get messy if his switch flipped during a match. Under the provisions of the Federation, he can. He joined up over a year ago. But not right now, he's suspended. You know what? I do recall hearing that before, but why did he do something? You. Drop it. What makes you think it's your business? I guess he's not willing to share that. Yeah. You heard anything about the payback boxer? Mm. Apparently that's the name going around town. Rumor is he's a real good boxer. I got asked the same thing by someone just last week. He was pretty obviously suspicious of us. Some high school girl. High schooler? Ah. I can imagine who that was. Yeah, she just walked on in, huh? According to her, rumors going around that someone in my gym is the payback you. boxer. Dog me, are you only here? Are you only here to fucking snoop on us too? <laughs> <laughs> As if. I'm gonna say everyone here is gonna squeaky clean pass, but the one thing I don't allow is my boxers using their fists outside this gym. No throwing your own life away in the slammer. Better die in that motherfucking ring. Damn it. This is not the guy to get all suspicious. Whatever it's gonna take, I'm sure you won't be pulling it off today. Oh, what are you here for today, Yagami? 
while guarding right after that attack lands. Guard jab. In the fourth round, the more you've been knocked out or the more effective it. After a perfect increase effect, they're falling straight punch. Sure. I don't have a lot of money, but we can get some. God vision. It may enrage some enemies. We have these guys, and then of course we have, you know. <laughs> Why is it peekaboo? Loves watching Ringside, Detective of Yag Yagami, Detective Agency. However, they're writing it. Oh, when we get to the number four, I'm sure. But right now, we gotta work our way to it. Play week six round bout. All right. Get warmed up. Let's play it by you. Sparring. Beat the fuck out of him. Y'all yes. gonna be too strong. Alright, well, there you go. You like that? Here we go. Hey, I'll take you on. Having a tough time. Oh, there you go. Got a strike in you. Ragnall. Oh, okay. And he's down. Level up.
Looks like he's done for the day. But I'm not. I'm still ready to train. I gotta become the best. Did I tail him? Huh? Whoa. Run! He's his attention. He's got some kind of, is he some kind of wild animal? <sighs> Hang on, this powerful monster is actually sc scared of something? We're gonna get a read on him. He's definitely strong, but it's fear earlier. Tailing him is going to be a challenge, but I still have to try. Yeah, because I'm so good at tailing people. Be careful here. By me, uh, I, I like the ground. Hi, kitties. Who's a good kitty? anywhere or is he just waiting for the cars to stop yeah. free to walk Just act natural. No one here. No one following you. Smashing myself up against the pole. Up against the bar like no one's here. Now he's practicing boxing? Randomly, he just walked up and decided to start... Punching? <laughs> like, look at my moves. I just want him to walk down the street doing, like, the Vince McMahon walk. I'm a pole. Oh, I shine light on people. <laughs> Hi guys, I see you talking there. Don't mind me. I'm a detective. Mind us. Hello, I know you can see part of my face. Whoa. What did you see something? I saw something? Ah, you're just imagining things. Hi, I'm Yagami.
Got unboxed it even after his proper training. Talk about dedicated. He did it twice. Got unboxed it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to imagine you're up against an opponent. Looking at his face, it's like he's gone up against someone even stronger. What could he be imagining? Huh? There you are. Mm -hmm. What is it? My big brother got beat up by the payback boxer. What's that? Huh? That's you right? Admit it, asshole. I don't know. Listen up, my brother fought you in, at the G B Buckeye or whatever. He says that guy had the same fighting style on you, or as you. What's that? <gasps> I said I don't know. Huh? Don't play dumb with me. Why won't he counter? He even stopped himself from attacking just now. Hey, go after him. You'll know I've been telling him, but there's no other choice now. Hey! Hey, stop right there. Yeah. Huh? The fuck you want? You. I'm the next I'm the next round. Bring it on, street punks. Look, I can learn the things that I got in my other one now here. Luckily, these are really cheap because I have to pay money to get them in actual boxing. Only these ones are more... Expensive, but you know, these could at least help me if I want to use boxing style. These guys got weapons. I don't want them. Who the fuck left their Tomfa here? Hey, is this yours? And he's safe. Not happening. Want to try that again? Nope. <laughs> hey, come on. Try it again. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Oh, you got me. Barely hurt. Come on. Who's having a rough day? Get lost. Damn it. Let's go. So you were the one telling me this whole time. Yes, you do all along. Um, uh, I want to learn the secret of getting stronger. Right. Okay, I know what you mean. Oh, he actually believed me. But like you're already strong. What was that just now, Kung Fu? Yeah, yeah you could say so. Self-taught, though. Boxing needs some work, but that was impressive. I thank you. Ooh. Oh. Wait, like this? It's a natural. It looks like he already has the form down, Pat. It's just a kick, though. Then again, I guess I almost fall over when I try to lift my legs up. By the way, why didn't you defend yourself there? I saw plenty of opportunities for you to turn the tide. We can't use our fists outside the gym. It's the rule. Does that mean... Okay, except that wouldn't apply in this situation, right? This would have been justifiable defense, self-defense. That... Would have been what? Thing if you're... If you're just protecting yourself, it shouldn't count as a fight. I'm sure even he would get that. Mm. And know that. Hey. Time said, what is it? Do you want to be a stronger boxer? Mm. Okay, then. Sounds like he's following the gym's rules, at least one, about outside fights, anyway. 
That means he can't be the payback boxer, right? Either way, it's too early for speculation. I'll just have to put in some more legwork. I want my appeal up, damn it. I need to be able to dance. How else will we be able to go to the fucking championships or whatever and dance if I can't do it? Plus, I start a lot of outside fights. I'm not going to let a gym tell me what to do. I like how you said there was some nice kung fu and all that, but I was using boxing style for most of it. I won't use it often. I just like doing it for the music, if anything. Hey. Hey. There's, uh, Kiri. Roadwork put in his miles. Let's see. That reminds me. And you told me to give you this. What's this? Boxing for beginners. Said he's returning the favor for the other day. What did you do? Because I helped him the other day. Come to think of it, he did ask if I wanted to become a better boxer. You. Trying to win him over with a bunch of stupid little gifts or something? Huh? What? Dumbass. Can't take my eyes off you for a goddamn second. Always fucking around. The moment I bust you, you're out of here. Nah. Jeez, not hard to do so. I'm still on his shit list. Boxing for beginners, ages 15 and under. Well. Yes, I do need it. Hmm? It's me. It's me. What's up? Bloomberg, another person fell victim to the payback boxer. What? what? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, multiple witnesses gave description of the match that matched the payback boxer. The victim was a former gang member. He's surrounded with awful rumors as well, such as abusing women. Did this happened a bit ago. Well, he's out doing road work. There, there goes an alibi. Excuse me. One thing I found rather puzzling. Mm -hmm. What is it? Well, Paper box apparently incorporated kicking moves into his repertoire. Does that mean kicking yes. moves? He said it's always been using only boxing techniques before, so for him to be suddenly starting kicking as well, rather odd to say the least. Come to think of, he seemed interested in my moves the other day. Did he actually use it in a fight? That's nah, probably just a coincidence. I'll be in touch if I find anything else. Can't be him, right? Oh no. I have all these random food inventory and some zone. Still have all these things. Like, I have all these samples to try out some ridiculous powers. One that allows a ridiculous key laser. Let's me just appear closer to enemies. Telekinesis, a lightning blade. The fuck? So many things. And then eventually I got detective dogs. God. I have so many things in my pockets. Oh, uh, is there anything to teach me again? Oh, an uppercut. Sure. Let's go, big man. I'm not holding back. I'm not holding back. Right 
Missed a lot of there. So small. So small, like a head, body, head, something. Are you actually gonna get up? Everyone keeps falling down. That's what I'm talking about. Let's wait. All right. At Mr. Six Pack. What I just said. All right. Whatever you want to be called. Trying to dodge and block him, just not moving. Oh, I'm gonna stay over here while you do that. Uppercut. Yes. Later Four. boxing matches are gonna kick my Three. ass. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hey, good for you. You have your legs under you. I like how I did a little dance in there, too. I had to get that dance for my EX gauge to fill. <laughs> well, congratulations, being the first guy to get back up. You have any more in the tank? Nope. <laughs> You like that? Yagami. Forms looking. looking oh, better, okay. Today. Right? So how about it? Can I spar Oshikiri again? <laughs> in your dreams, fuckwad. As weak as you are, he'd smear you in a minute flat. Then I don't care who. Just make him someone decent. I'm done chewing up all your goons. <laughs> They're one stubborn bastard, you know that? Sounds like it's time to put you in your place. Onidake! Oh, God. So you're the new me. Ew. And this is... Gaku Onidake. He's a Class A pro. I take you're not just some bum off the street? Hey, I've been legit for a while now. Remember when the Tojo fell apart? He stumbled into my place right around then. 
Oh, good for him. Can earn a decent living in boxing. Even ex cars become a champ, and you can really live it up. Don't come. Ha 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 ha. I was a hitman back in the days. My only partners were my pistol and my knife. But now, I just have these guys. A real gun you want show. A taste of your blood, Yagami. And it's feeding time. Hope you're ready to die. Yeah, I don't plan on it. Now show me what you got. Yagami, let me know when you're ready. What? Why does he have to yell at me? All right, well, let's see how it goes. All right. This is the way he blocked. Doesn't know what to do. The jabs, the hooks, the straights. The uppercuts. Say he's fucking bored. One shot, one kill, is that what he said? Fucking whiffed. That's about what I expect out of him. Just remember everything you learned in your sparring and bring it home in the next round. Whoop his ass. <laughs> I get to do a little dance every time if I do it right to tire him out to get my AX game filled up quicker. Way a lot of him.
Oh, you tried. Don't come. My guts is improved. You know, you're pretty good, Yagami. Pretty good. I stood a chance, even if I'd been strapped. Huh. Really now? Onidake! What the fuck was that? The hell are you doing? Losing to this little stick figure! That is not Class A level work, you hear me? Didn't you see? He's strong for a noob. I ain't a bit ashamed losing to him. What? Not ashamed? You spineless little turd! I don't want to see your face in my gym again! Goddamn coward! Now that's some shit coming from the guy living off nothing but gym fees and our prize money. Shut your yap! I'm the boss here, Dillhole! There it goes again, Coach of the Year. Yagami. Hey, Yagami. You done for the day? Yeah. Yeah. What are you up to after this? Want to grab a drink or something? How convenient. Now I get a chance to ask him about it. Yeah. Sure, I'll join you. Cool. I'll hang out in front of the gym. Let me know when you're ready to roll. I don't really want to hang out with you, but you don't seem too bad. But, you know, we'll just see how that goes. Better not tell me you have another club for me to join. Hey, where are you right now? I'd like to discuss another social circle. I was fucking kidding! Me and one involving the professor? Correct, so you know something I can trust only you. That shall hedge your way. How many fucking clubs do you want from me? I'm so busy! I'm boxing for Christ's sake! Hey. Twelve. Let's hit it, sure. Nice day for a daytime drink. See, you're looking to spar with him, huh? Yeah. yeah. You beat me pretty bad, and like I said, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to keep losing. <laughs> You've got some real guts if you try to set up a ride too with that monster. I doubt I'll get a chance to ask him about him like this again. I should get as much as I can now. Hey. I hear he's been banned from sparring ma and matches entirely, though. Is that right? What a waste of skill. Mm. Nothing any of us can do about it. The kid only fights to destroy people. What does that mean? You know, Doki ever mentioned something like that, yeah. too. Well, if he's ever able to find what makes boxing special, then maybe he'll be allowed to spar again. Mm -hmm. Makes it special. Boxing is a sport, not some murder fest. Supposed to be fucking fun. What the shit Shikiri does? I can't imagine that's fun. Certainly not for the other guy in the ring, but not even for him either. Mm. I mean, I get what it's like to have the bloodlust. I was the go to hitman in my crew back in the day. But it's not just about how people in the ring feel either. Boxing brings joy to all sorts of folks when, in the, when I'm in the ring. All the boxing fans out there. You're a piece of shit like me giving to society. Nothing else makes it feel the same way. I guess my coach is hoping that he can find his. His way to that feeling someday. Hey. By the way, is there something I'm curious about? I heard he got suspended. And he can't compete in any official matches either. Yeah. About that. Probably because of one of his fights he was in an outside he was in outside the gym. Wound up throwing down with the wrong guy. Why was he the wrong guy to fight? Well, this guy started in on seriously he got sent to the hospital, but he definitely still won out in the end. Asshole's dad was top dog of the company sponsoring some boxing event. I probably misread like 90% of that. I see. Talk about unlucky. So he starts barking up a storm about th with the Federation saying that they have to drop our gym or lose all the dough. Coach, he got down on his hands and knees for the guy in the head and head of the whole Federation. Please, I'm begging you. My guys are too rough to have any other options. There's so nowhere else they can go. If they can't make it in my gym. They'll just throw all their lives away again. Please. I guess that actually got through to the press. Even went out of his way to privately settle the matter with that sponsor himself. Oh. Now I get the suspension. I understand it now, I should say. Yep, and that's why he finally cooled his jets. Coach's got a real gutter mouth, but he'd risk his life for us if we needed him to. It's got a soft side. Oh, 
that's well hidden. Right, this whole thing's trying to save guys like me through boxing, you know, underdog types. Apparently he was a real terror himself as a kid too, but I hear boxing helped him get back on the right path. Hey. Was he strong back then too? <laughs> strong, the guy was a beast, still is. He was even OPBF champ back in the day. Are you serious? He was the best boxer in all of Asia and all yeah. that. Yeah, you, I heard he used to think about going for the worlds, but you know how it is. G injuries and aging. Uh -huh. and that's news to me. Well, thanks, I think you've covered everything. Yeah. No problem. Got that focus up. Now she's going to call me again and be like, Hey, now that your focus is up, you want another group that you, I haven't even talked to you about? Yagami. Yeah, right, Yagami. You ever want to swear? Yeah. I'll be down. Cool. I wanted to find some sort of peace through boxing, huh? Gotta say, I didn't expect that. I wonder if I could be one, the one to show what makes boxing special. Maybe you'd open up to me then. Well, before I go there, I want to go see something here with these fuckers over here in this. I think we can maybe progress some of the skateboarding nonsense I gotta do. Because I need my appeal to go up so then I can also progress the fucking dance club. <laughs> I got so many things. No, at some point, the main story will be done. I mean, I could be doing the main story and be saving all this for, like, the past, like, post-game stuff, but it doesn't matter. Do it whenever. I want to make the game last a while. So many things to do. Hey, friends. I, I fucking camera didn't know what to do. But I'll end up, like, taking a break from all of it to go do a little bit of the story. Because I don't want to take too long of the story. Because I need to keep, every, like, who we're meeting and all the th stuff going on a little bit fresh in my mind. Or I'll start to forget what the fuck is happening. Or at least I'll start missing the small details. Like that fucking grind for two seconds. I win. Really, guys? Ugh. Excuse me, pardon me. All right, this is this place. Experience a hug in liquid form. The ultimate drink to end all drinks. I don't think I'd ever want to experience a hug in liquid form. I just love to fight. Chaos. 
What up, my uh, homies? So I'll tag along. Cool, let's head over. All right, that sounds whack, yo. I don't belong here. <laughs> Guys, again. Let's do Dog this. It's time for us to get our revenge for last time. Fine with me. Who am I up against? Me. Get ready. <gasps> You're up, huh? Yep, and I'm starting it off. Please tell me it's going to be like 2,000, right? Hmm. Yep, 2,500. You know, I did the little missions that I needed 6,000, right? Now, I don't want to brag because I'm probably going to get fucked, but hey. It'll be funny if I uh, somehow screw this up. Check it out. I'm so fucking hip. How bad of a skater do you have to be if you couldn't get over 2,500? I mean, geez, I barely make a grind and I get a great. Turn my hat sideways, bitch. <laughs> I'm not wearing a hat. Imagine if they let me put on any outfit while we were doing this. I could have dressed up as a vampire or a ninja while I'm on a skateboard. Second one. Let's go. Chiyoda. The one who's been drawing the blue king stencil. Mm -hmm. What? Yo, someone else in my crew draws that. Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, right. My bad. I forgot you can't draw for shit anymore. You're useless. Really did see the downfall of your artistic genius. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey. I said something about that last time. What was this whole thing about you and this being a genius? It's all in the past. If you want to know, I started drawing in middle school because my art club teacher talked me into it, and I had a knack for it. And I started improving pretty quickly, and I managed to win awards and stuff. I thought people started calling me a genius in the newspaper. Ever considered pursuing the path as a career then? Yeah, there were times when I thought about... I thought I'd be an artist when I grow up. It's not going to happen for me anymore. Mm -hmm. Why not? Six months ago, I had to get surgery... I had to get surgery for a condition in my head. Now my head's all messed up, so you're going to have to drive now. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Doesn't affect my everyday life, but I can't draw delicate lines anymore, which I needed for my art. Would have never known. <laughs> but anyways, it's all in the past. Let's focus on having fun now. Also racing now. Yo, power slide has been unlocked. Right. Oh, God, there's race battles. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, not racist. <laughs> Oh, let's get this shit out of the way first. Yeah, 
Hey, you like that? Jumped right over it. It's a cake. <laughs> Getting that appeal. Slowly but surely, I'll get a banana peel. I mean, appeal. get a good leap on that one. And I wanted to charge, but he didn't charge it. Work with me, Yagami. Oh, now you want to charge. Dude, fuck it, I'll just earn all the points I need here and I won't even go to the other side. Luckily, I have the points, so at this point, it's just getting coins. I'm not gonna get what I want, that's all I care about. I'm on top of the world. No, yeah, I mean, you're on a skateboard and now you're on the ground. Come on, give me my fucking appeal. Now we got a race. Oh, God. Race around against five other opponents. Be first to reach. Okay, I didn't hit the page button. Thank you. Points you obtain during the game can only be kept if you win. Rest A at the right time to accelerate. B to jump to avoid obstacles, all while earning items along the way. You'll find different items. Each of these will obtain gravel, which you can throw behind you to slow opponents down. Firecrackers, which you can throw ahead of you to surprise your opponent. Energy drinks, so increase your speed. Press Y to use. Accelerate without items. 
You gain small boosts by pulling off tricks and jumping over obstacles. You have to be shitting me. I have to look about how to do that power slide that I got. I'm on top of the world. I don't know if that helped my appeal. I think they just, I don't really know if that did anything for me other than racing to get points. I think this just helps me with points. I guess I need, I need appeal, damn it. I'm gonna run away and come back because sometimes that triggers things. If there's any more that they want me to do or not. Or I'll do a couple more races and then. Get up. Like, you know, <laughs> be your inner magic carp. Flop. Flash around on the ground. There's like 10 things I'm going to be doing. I forgot all about the eSports Club. Oh, God. Not the eSports Club. Oh, crap. I forgot I'm going to have to deal with that, too. Oh, God. All right. Peter's just getting there. I think it's just over time. I have to come back and see if they're ready for me. Not yet. All right, well. Uh, do another race, though, just because. Then I'll go and do something else, I suppose. I could go... Uh, Check back at the robots club or something. Well, actually, I gotta go talk to her anyway. To see what she wants. What the next thing is she's gonna have me do. And I know what one of them are supposed to be. Oh, I was throwing shit down. Behind. I must have really fucked him up.
Is that all you want? You just like me now? Oh, I'm trying to run. Yes, I need to go back to high school. Why? Well, I might be joining another fucking club. There's like ten of them and almost got them all. I go. I'm a sour. You want to talk to me about something? Yes, new community. Just one recently became part of city of the city's underground. Oh boy. By the way, type of club: athletic, cultural. No. No, not really a club per se. It's not. More like a safe place students made for themselves outside of school. Uh, honestly, it's what most would call a motorcycle gang. <sighs> yep. The one I kind of figured was going to happen. <laughs> sure. Yep. I can totally. I've been skateboarding, but yeah, I can do some motorcycle shit too, I guess. Oh my. Yagami, you're doing so many things. Huh? Motorcycle gang? Yes. Largest motorcycle gang that call themselves Made in Heaven. Why don't you go undercover among them? Might as well hear the details. Hey. Made in Haven. I don't know what the fucking word. I always get them somehow mixed up. Um. Um, in general, motorcycle gangs fall into one of two categories. Wolf packs or and illegal racers. This group is one is a group of illegal what does racers. That mean? You mean they're street racers? Yes. They're obsessed with speed. <laughs> they want to go by the name Diamond Dogs. What was that? Tend to ride around the big group, getting in the way of cars. The leader has a, a lot of power and influence. They called him, him their representative. Really interesting is how they race using uh, abnormal methods, even compared to other street racers. Aside from how insanely fast they go, they also perform a lot of dangerous maneuvers on purpose. In other words... If it's on purpose, maybe they're just testing their own bravery. True, but it's a dangerous test. The racers can do anything and attack and interfere with each other. Oh god, it's gonna be like that? We help investigate the third year who recently joined the gang. Yuma Suo or whatever. He has some relation to the professor? No evidence of that, but I do think with ill intent must... Uh, with ill intent must have talked him into it. Into joining, his life has taken quite a dramatic turn. Mm -hmm. He was known for good grades and conduct. He was even disciplinary committee leader. Does that mean? I mean, he was one enforcing the rules. That's the exact opposite of a kid who just joins a motorcycle gang. Yes. So it begs the question: How does he get involved in gang activity? Seriously, he had a reputation around here. Other kids used to call him the rule hunter. If you weren't following rules, the T. He'd hunt you down. He'd even go after the really wild delinquent kids. He should have been scared of. No matter who you are or were, if you broke a rule, he'd show up, and that's how he got the nickname. Hmm. Someone like that became a biker? That's a dramatic reversal. He didn't just become a biker. In one night, became a representative there. He climbed all the way to the top. Huh? What? You heard me. A leader of the school discipline committee feared as the, as the rule hunter became a biker gang representative. We never had a case like this. That's why my hypothesis is that someone else talked him into this. Someone with ill intent, like I mentioned. I see. There's a night and day contradiction in this kid's behavior. Any ideas of how he got involved? Well, well the thing is, he went to negotiate with them himself, since he was the leader of the school discipline committee. He faced off against all the gang, the gang all by himself. He tried to get the other students to leave. Huh? He say by, did you say by himself? They say he didn't even blink as he stared into their souls and tore them a new one. The other students said, say he w said, 
Need to get the hell away from this group. I had to tell if he's gutsy or just lacks common sense. Mm. How did a student so dedicated to rules and discipline become their leader? Pretty strange, right? Yeah. Absolutely, I admit, this case has piqued my interest. Um, oh, by the way, when you said undercover, you didn't mean. Yes. Of course I did. I hope you're ready to. I hope you know how to ride, Yang. Seriously? You can't be serious. There are two things I want you to do while you're undercover. First, find out is how he would suddenly become the leader of a bunch of miscreants. I very much need that answer. And if you can, I want to talk to those kids who are doing such dangerous bike stunts. Try to get them back on the right track. At this rate, they're all going to end up dead in accidents. Gotcha. Okay, well, I'll give it a try. Where do I find them? Some of the guys have been seen hanging around in that park at night. I have Kento bring my father's bike to you. Uh, can you meet him at the park this evening? Okay, once it's nighttime, I'll head over. Well, I don't have control of that, so I probably won't get to do this right away, sadly. Sports club. That one's gonna suck. Well, let's see how you guys are doing in robotics. See how robotics is doing. I'll do a little bit of the fucking esports thing of whatever I'll have to do. Then I'll probably have to progress some of the story because I guess I gotta. I kind of need to wait for nighttime for some stuff. And then we'll be right back in the gym, boxing, and all the other things we're doing. All right, today's topic concerns our development direction of the first round of the tournament. Okay. We know who we're up against. Jeffrey. Hmm. Here's the tournament bracket. Our opponent of the first round is that college robotics club. For today, I'd like to discuss our countermeasures against them. Strategy meeting? I guess I'm using my whole brain for this. It seems to thrive in close quarter tactical formations, but if that's the case, we must prioritize offense, offensive weaponry and formation breaking tactics. Tactics. Such focus on weapon development. Prepared parts line up that I'd like to serve as the foundation of development. I also plan to schedule a milestones as well. Be to check when you need to deliver your work. Didn't even get a chance to speak. Okay, Tagawa. What? You say you want to have a discussion, you know, with everyone? Indeed. What? We had everything all decided already. What was there even to discuss? <sighs> I, I apologize that you misunderstood my what words. The, the whole point of this was just you telling us what and to that's do. The, most the optimal solution. solution. Yeah. I think you're all bad. Yeah, I'm really getting tired of this. What? Don't like. If you like to voice your opinion, I'm listening. What? Patronizing me <sighs> wasn't my intent. want peanut butter. Mm. This is an infamous top-down approach, huh? You should try to ease up the tension. Okay, to go. How about we have an idea meeting with everyone to go over the weapon development line? Idea meeting? Yeah. yeah. By hearing all sorts of opinions and point of views, it might spark an idea you never even thought of by yourself. It's what they call a brainstorming session. That being said... I feel they may become more of a brain scattering session. Besides, I reviewed the lineup countless times. Well, you'll never know until you try. Why not give it a shot? Yes. Very well, if you insist. Great. All kinds of rules for brainstorming, but the most important one is never deny another's opinion. Instead, dive in and try to expand on them. Got that? <laughs> Denying bad. Yes, I understand. Anyone want to share a thought? Excuse me. Yeah, actually, I was just thinking wouldn't projectiles be badass? That way, they could wreck the enemy from a distance while lining up for a block, right? No. What? With the radio controls as they are, achieving delicate handling will be difficult, even if you aim. Line of sight would shift and the bullet would miss its target. We had, like the previous operator, try ranged weapons, but it was highly impractical. Shooting down someone's opinion during a brainstorming session is against the rules. Mm. Right, this is mm. quite hard. I guess as our counsel, I should try to steer this meeting and get them inspired. Expand on his ranged weapon. I'll ask the ones who haven't said anything yet. I forget like half of the uh, people's names, so I'll just go with her. 
to Kura. What are your thoughts on his ranged weapon? Well, like you said, I think it might be hard to hit the target. In that case, why don't we just adjust it so it still hits with a broad range? What do you mean by that? If we're having a hard time with a single shot, we should make it rapid fire like a machine gun. Make it rain hard enough that it's bound to get wet, you know? I get impressive thinking. How's about a shotgun? It should hit broader range since the shots will spread out. Yeah, good call. That could work hey. too. What did you put down the table? What do you think? <laughs> Never considered that point of view. This might work out quite well. Let's add range weapon development to our lineup. This is going surprisingly well. And say thanks to me. I'd like to hear his thoughts. And what's your opinion on the weapons lineup? Huh? Oh, you want my opinion? Uh, um, well, well, I I really want us to have cool weapons. Uh -huh. What the heck do you mean by cool weapons? Mm. Well, I was thinking attaching some blue lights and made it transform while it li lit up. That'd be great. Wow. I understand how you feel. We simply don't have the funds for that. I'd rather spend them on that thing that will increase our chances of winning. Sorry. Nope. I don't apologize for speaking your mind. While brainstorming, it's important to be able to invoice your opinions without being afraid of screwing up. Some of your ideas may even be totally out there, and that's fine, too. We try not to reject ideas right out the gate, but instead go with it and try to expand <laughs> on it. So, cool weapons. Let's book that idea f for now while we think. Have any thoughts on the wage weapon plan? Me? Uh. Racking my brain, but nothing comes to mind. Think about it, he, he was clutching his head earlier. Hey. What are your thoughts? Does it even matter whatever I say, it'll get rejected outright. If you have sufficient argument, then by all means. Kitagawa. Dying opinions during a brainstorm is forbidden. Watch it. Yeah. Understood. Anyway, aside from that, I don't really have any other opinion. I don't get anything else out of him. <sighs> oh, that was a workout for my brain. I'm beat. <laughs> Yeah, but it was fun. Solid ideas for the weapons lineup, I'd say. Indeed. This lineup with ranged weapons like machine guns and shotguns. Listen to me from the start. Got them all pretty amped up. Awesome. It's all about that teamwork. Yagami son. Yeah. But I'm counting on you. Unlock new parts. Things that would help make the AI not so dumb. I gotta give myself some dull aluminum. I'm lacking in that department. I need to get them new batteries so they can actually use use some of their things. I gotta get these. Get a new drill. So we've dealt with people with one star. Can't really make anything for anybody without better batteries. Get myself a better drill for now, I guess, because I'm the only one with a decent battery. Yeah, now we're two star, yay! I'll have to deal with it. Hope oh, we'll have to go. I'll have to go shopping for parts. Spend my money on like any of whoever sells that stuff. Who's got like all of the uh, like aluminum and stuff? Because I know you can find it around town, but I might need to like speed acquire, like I did with the drone racing. Just 
Nice. Hey, just because I'm in the robots club doesn't mean I'm a nerd. useful data from that match. We'll look over these parts again. I think we can make some modifications. Takamori. How long do you, do you expect it to take? Mm -hmm. Half a day, maybe? Looks like if your schedule is about to open up, so you should have time for now. Alright, you can go ahead with those modifications. Yeah. Roger that. Listen, there was opinion a lot more than before. Could it be because of the brainstorming Takamori session? Senpai. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. Now you got it. Yay! Yay! Designs, how, how, are the designs coming along okay? Oh, yes. You enjoying the work? I, I'm just doing my best. Right. Get pretty good read on him and everyone, but this one takes some time to open up. Hmm? What? You might stop by the club room sometime. I got some new dirt on the thief and robot. It's it. Good chance for her to come back to the MRC. It's Akura. You head back to MRC. You got some info to share huh? with us, huh? Me too. That's a joke. If you don't show up. You're basically letting Enercut win. Doesn't that bother you? Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll tag along. But I've got some business to handle first. So yeah. go on ahead. I'll meet you there. I wanna. I don't wanna go. The pawn shop uh, has a lot of parts, possibly. Not sure where else. Probably not. There's probably a store that's. Uh, well, there was that general goods place that I think has random pieces. Deads. You don't wanna. Don't come. I definitely, because I know I can find the parts, but if I keep building up money from doing a lot of this shit, I might just buy a good a, abundance of parts so I can help improve the robot club and anything else I might need the parts for. Hmm. It still isn't here. I hope she shows up. <laughs> who knows? After what happened last time, who could blame her? Don't come. Hey. Oh, here I am. Have a seat here. I acquired some new information regarding the thieving robot incidents. This lady, this girl is having the time of her life now that her club has become something since we got here. Been a lot more involved. And then she stuck me with like five other fucking clubs. But what is it? So we get a picture of the robot in question. Yes. This is it? It was up on social media. A witness seemed to have snapped a photo. After analyzing the information, it seems like the robot's more powerful than it was before. As it runs away, it speeds out a smoke screen and even disperses skill traps from its rear. Huh? Spiky balls ninja throws while making a getaway? You're taking Ryan's shit from him! Yes. <laughs> That's right, likely countermeasure in case anyone chases after it. Cool. You think the robot club would be able to install functions like those with everything they know? Mm. <laughs> Possible task for them. They're kind of second-rate robotics club. From what I hear, that thief bot's supposedly a pretty agile. That sort of control program is extremely complex. I might fare better, but it'd be impossible for uh, them. In other words, one heck of a skill barrier to face. Pay to win. Excuse Get my me. credit card. One thing: Will you take a good look at that picture? Able to see the bolt on that mm -hmm. part? Yes. Doesn't that look like the cherry blossom mark on the head? No way. Well, aren't those the custom bolts that the of the robot club brought? Yes. Either one and the same. We need, we may need more, be more wary of the robotics club. Hey. Can I get the data for this picture? What? Plan to do. Ask the robotics club about this. Huh? So soon, why won't that make them suspicious? 
There's this first year named Skurikun out of every member. He's the one who's opened up the most. If there's anyone who you can trust to keep a secret, be him, right? Mm. Oh, I can definitely see that. Very well, I'll say it again. Just please be careful. Look, I'm skateboarding. I'm boxing. I mean, I'm, I'm being as careful as can be. Oh, we're moving along that. Let's go see what the fucking esports kids want. I'm gonna be jumping around from club to club like a maniac. Alright. Hey. The <laughs> Don't Come Brigade. Gross. You guys, news player, think the professor is involved with the esports club? Heck yeah, when it comes to that story, I definitely think there's been some technical assistance from the professor. Didn't you, didn't you approach the esports club to investigate? Maybe. We can help each other. You can. We can tell you, tell each other what we know about this gotcha. scandal. I think he's gonna share something good. Gotta make sure I don't derail it with something I say. The catalyst of this was uh, Bob Matsu beating the crap out of some famous esports player in a tournament. Yes, a world champion, in fact. He didn't give any opportunity to counterattack. It was over in seconds. Does that mean? Not much about gaming. Is that something that shouldn't usually happen? Well, at the very least, I've never seen it. It definitely doesn't happen often. What's especially weird is that he's an amateur with no record to speak of, and his opponent was an undefeated pro esports player. So it's like an Olympic gold medalist getting crushed by a turtle who was tranquilized. That's why you think you cheated with the professor's help. Also, I should explain more about that. At tournaments, they have pretty hardcore countermeasures against cheating. Obviously, without those, the sports would collapse. Like, the <laughs> open money, hey, hooray. Even in practice match the other day, they were using what's called cheat detection software. Huh. Never knew that existed, so nothing illegal was detected in that match. Apparently not, but regardless, something did happen that only a cheat could explain. I think him and his crew invaded the software's powers of detection. Is that even possible? Not with the rudimentary skills of a high school student. Professor? Yeah, he can get it done. That's why I think he's involved. I see. Of course, he's still a mystery how he can install the cheat tool in that machine. There are monitors to make sure that can't happen, even the practice matches. Would have been no chance to install via a storage device for, like a disc or a USB stick. Well, maybe there were truthfully no cheating. And I saw the match with my own eyes. It was not won in an honest way. Oh, wait, before you share, <laughs> as this... At this present moment, I don't think I have anything you don't already know. You can skip your turn for now as long as you promise to share me with anything you learn in the future. Hmm. Just to be clear, this is off the record. I'm not interested in publicly humiliating a student because you take you take what I say and print it on the newspaper. You no, know, it would be badly affect the student's future. We'll refrain from reporting it. I do actually have the conviction of a real journalist, you know. All I want is the truth. Hmm. I think real journalists are going to disappoint you, kid. That's about everything hmm. I want to ask. The question is how I proceed with the investigation. The best thing would be for you to get really good at virtual fighter than play against him. He hates losing. If he thinks he's about to lose to a true amateur like you, he'll get desperate. So the character starts acting weird. That's when you secure the mat the machine he's using. Huh. The only thing is, I'm a noob. Right? Is that the term? I'd have to be pretty... I'd have to be pretty tough to be beating him. He's got predictable habits in the way he fights, and he relies too much on certain winning strats. Basically, I'm saying his gameplay is simple and shallow. If you can see through it, so is mine! That's my gameplay in a fucking nutshell! Especially in a fighting game. What do you think I keep telling DK to stop breaking the rules? I'm simple and shallow. <laughs> I'm quite the expert on it. <laughs> it's just something from a long time ago. I'll see you around. First, I need to practice. I'm not going to get that much better at that game, but I'll try my best.
do the montage of me just playing Virtua Fighter over and over to try to get better at it. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh, hello. This an old dinosaur who can't accept you've been left behind. When they dig up your fossil, don't come crying to me. Hey. Who's that? That was the uh, PTA chairman. He come, came to observe things to see whether our club is a benefit to the school community. Yeah, He's another ancient husk who never even picked up a controller. She thinks games are just toys for children. A game where a player is immersed into a virtual world is the highest form of art. Why can't they understand that? Huh. Stuff really gets to him, doesn't it? Media chairwoman hates games, can't stand them. There's rumors that she's going to try to ban games at school with new regulations. Huh? Seriously, wouldn't that mean the end of the esports club? If it comes to that out that they cheated, it would, be, it would just be the PTA chairman wants. Everyone, we will not bow down to the demon lords. Stop. We must be unyielding. We'll tackle this with relentless spirit. <laughs> We're going to do great at that tournament. Then the world will know how important games are. If you want to get some practice in, just let me know. Want to go around? Yeah. yeah, how about I want to, uh, how about that? I, about that, I want to play against him. Mm -hmm. it, you're the best in the club, you're right? Ten years too early. Huh? You're like a child who just started running track, asking to race against an Olympian. I hope you realize uh. that. You're really that good? Yeah, but tell you what, if you can defeat three of the strongest members in this club, then I'll play you. Gotcha. All right, I'll take you in order then. Fuck me. Gonna get my ass handed to me. Sega!